Are you ready? We're on. We're live. We're on. And Amanda, I think I'd roll my sleeves up for this show tonight. You okay. Know? We're going to get down. And dirty. And. And. Wah, wah. Oh, we got He's the chicken. down dirty, get man. Get that chicken. He heard it. What you got? Ace. What is that? Give me that. Oh. <laughs> He's looking. There's a lot going on. Good evening, everybody. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes, and we're glad you tuned in. New Year's Eve is almost here. What is it, man? Today's Wednesday? Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, Martin, Friday's New Year's 29th. Eve. Going to get right to it. Yes. We're going to feature, we go, we've got two more days for our Incredibox $20,000 special that we're running. Right at January 1, it's going up to 25. Yeah. Still an amazing deal at 25. Yes. Crazy deal at 25. Right now it's $20,000. That's our special offer. You know me. I always come up with some kind of crazy deal. For everybody, this home that we're doing, the design of it, everything. Let me get on the website and show you a little bit about what we're doing here. So, this is our website. And this is the Incredibox. So, if I go up here, there's, where's our home here? So, if we go, mm -hmm. here's, I think it goes back to our home page. Okay. So, right here, okay, is the Incredibox. You know, we don't have professional photos here. People that come here and take real pretty pictures. These are all things that we do on our own. So you can see it's $20,000 limited offer. If you want to go there, I click on that picture and I come back and it's got this, got this video. Now, <clears throat> the reason I didn't like this video, you see some big dents in this thing. The, the homes that are coming off the line won't have any of that. This is my personal home, but it's something we had to use to feature this new model that we're coming out with. There's a few questions tonight I'm going to answer about our value, about the strength, the wind load, snow load, some other things that we've talked, that people have called in about questions. Hopefully I can answer them for you. So if you go on to this, you can also go to this right there. It's another video that we have on YouTube. You can go on here after the little countdown and there we go to skip that ad and here we go, right? So here's the outside. If you guys want a longer video, it's 27 minutes, 34 seconds. And I'll speed up a little bit. It shows the perimeter, outside perimeter of the house. And what I thought was really cool is it shows the inside, right? Who's that? <laughs> yeah. And you're going to see right here from what it looks like. Now, that's what it looks like when you receive this house. Yeah. Raw panels. And what you're about to see is only paint. Only we paint. just painted the inside yes. and just painted the outside. Even this metal, we just painted over that. And I painted along the base. Just I, paint. Just it. And then of course we threw some decorations in there. But we called Sherwin Williams and it was paint for metal. Paint That's all for we metal. told them. Yeah. That's all we here, said. And here we go. You got, it's just like people can't and believe. And here it is. Twenty thousand wow. eight by sixteen hundred and twenty-eight square feet home right here. This is what your home can look like with just a little bit of sweat equity. I'm gonna show you what we've done in approximate cost to, to get it to this point from earlier. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So this greenery, of course, all that's just landscaping, plants, and all that stuff. You don't need to look like that for your personal home. I mean you might want to later on. I'd like to when I get moved on my spot. But that's it. Everybody just said decor. They were saying, how in the world did you make it look from panels to that? It's just paint. We well, you know what was a good indicator is we got people we built sheds for in the in the community here. Yeah. They painted them and it looks amazing. It does. They look when great. they paint them. So you take this video and then we'll take you on the inside. Yeah. Look at that. So you know what that I want to so do real good. quick, Minda? All right, you see that inside? We added these shelves. Hung a mirror in another shelf, right? Yeah. Let me go back here. Somebody emailed today Look, and said, "There it is." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody emailed and said this was stucco that we stuccoed it. No stucco, no stucco, just paint. I wanted to make sure that all we did was paint it. So there's a picture there. There's the living room. I took that wire cable and I ran it up there and just hit it. That was that's for my personal solar. So that's not involved in the house. But that's exactly the house that's right here yes same thing we just painted it i that didn't even it. i have not even done our, our countertops i didn't no. polyurethane it yet so you got the bathroom just area. paint so that right there is oh, right 
There. So see that? Just paint. That's unfinished. To that. To that's finished. Done. Yeah. Just paint and decor. That's stupid. We added decor. Man, I look good there. Ah! <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Need a facelift. Lord, look, look at all good. them pop-ups. Man. Hang on. Okay, I can put All my right, arms everybody. down. Done. Okay. We're done with this video. I wanted, to, <laughs> I wanted to show people that are thinking about the tiny home. Go to our website. You'll be able to see <clears throat> this video and inquire about it. Now, I've had... So this is the panel. Yeah, that's the panel. I'm going to get into that here in just a second. It says mm -hmm. snow load. I don't... The, the actual pitch of that roof, because it's flat, it's, you know, it's flat this way, but it slopes. The engineering was made for a gable roof of a snow load. The snow load was only on the engineering was about, I think this is 33 pounds per square foot. Okay. We're going to put a building out here with wood trusses and it's, it's rated at 34 to 30, 30 to 34 pounds per square foot. We're in the south, you don't need 80 pounds per square foot. I know I talked to them up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho and it was like 80 pounds a square foot, you know. So in our video today that we went out with, we took five of us men and we stood up on the, on the, uh, home on the roof mm -hmm. and we were within all of us was right in that circle you guys will see within three foot it was a thousand pounds right now i know to do a snow load you need to do 180 right if you did 180 and then 180 and 180 and one uh, every square foot is 180 okay. all right we didn't get what i had to get probably 20 guys up there to do that right we haven't done that. that's a lot of weight but I compare this to if somebody said, what about a camper? One person said, oh, the walls are super thin. I mean, that's assuming that, <clears throat> I don't know how you could assume that. I don't either. I mean, what are you what saying? You Why are they thin? Yeah. All right, they're not. Mm -hmm. Okay. In our value, I'll get to you and show you. We've had, we've advertised our ESP homes for months. Well, we're for a full year now. So the, the R value, here you got about, about two inches of insulation and this is closed cell polyurethane spray foam. Mm -hmm. Now this is one panel it's full of insulation inside. Yes. There's no cavities, there's no up and downs, it doesn't go from maybe an inch, inch and three, you know, back up and all that stuff. It's completely solid. It's solid. Which is even a better, more efficient insulation. Let me show the side of it there. Okay. That's so this is cut on a 45. See? The mm -hmm. other um, panel that how these are interlocked is the other panel that I will slide in here is on an opposite 45. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. And then, uh, so we do <laughs> is we take spray foam and we spray foam it in there. Yeah. We take the panel, slide it in, and we screw it. Now, we've been building these for a year, and we build a lot of them, all right? I personally live in the one out here, and we're going to walk out there, and I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So, um, our value. Our value is seven, and this, and I'm going to get to it, but it's seven R7 per inch. So you got about an R14 here, all right? Now, some of you are going to say, well, my gosh, up in Minnesota, and where was I? Yeah, they, yeah, they get R26 in the walls. It's like, man, that's not even close, not even half, really, yeah. of what it's supposed to be in the walls and codes uh -huh. and all that stuff. Polyurethane spray <laughs> foam is different than a bat insulation. A bat insulation is fiberglass. Oh, okay. Fiberglass has voids because yes. it's not, um, con, con, what do you call it? Compressed? Cons consistent with the same thickness all the time. And then if it doesn't mash up against the studs and there's a lot of air infiltration, there's zero air infiltration with this Well, this is a this dense. Pump. I mean, it's tight and dense. It's dense. It's and dense. it's solid and it's waterproof and airproof. So it's not apples for apples. Right. So it's so hard to sell because you could say, well, it's, you know, hey, here's an R14. Here's an R14. I'm paying three times as much for this and mm -hmm. why the equivalent? No. Right. If you like... I guess, and this is a crude example, but it's like taking a really high-end car. Let's just take a, a Lexus or something, right. and then you take a low-end, <laughs> you know, inexpensive. I hate just anybody. What yeah. is a low-end car? My yeah. used truck. A you go. Remember those? Yeah, you go. I think take a you go and you take a Lexus. Well, hell, both of them get me to the store. Transportation A to B. You're right, but one's a hundred grand, one's two thousand. There's a reason. But I can get to the store. Okay, well, buy your Yugo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's not the same. Yeah. They're both the same. They're both cars. They both get you down the road, but they're not the same. Yeah. This is massive efficient. If you look into insulation in the country now, almost 
all the contractors, everybody building homes, all the new homes being built are using spray foam insulation. Mm -hmm. We've been using it since we've been in business almost. First few homes we built uh, bat insulation. Yeah. So another question was, what is these, what is kind of metal is that? Mm -hmm. Okay. The gauge of the metal, the gauge is the thickness of the metal. All right. So the thickness of this metal is a 22 gauge. Yeah. Pretty thick. Uh, gutters are about a 27 gauge. Okay. The metal on your roof, I think, is 29 gauge, 27, 29. I don't have it all written out for me, but this is so the lower the number, the thicker the metal. All right. We use a 16 gauge for sheet metal welding. All right. This mm -hmm. is 22 gauge. This is a good thick, good thick metal. Um, somebody said, is it galvanized? No, it is not galvanized. Now, why, what, uh, what's the difference in galvanized? What does that galvanized mean? Galvanized means it won't rust. Oh, well, and this will rust. You know what? And I asked Tom that. And, yeah. and so I asked, this is, this is steel. It's not galvanized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if these are doors. Yeah. So if you put a door on your house mm -hmm. and 90% of the doors in a home, new construction, everything are made out of this metal right here. Yes. What do you do to your door? Paint it. You paint it. Mm-hmm. Now, it. if you didn't paint it, would it rust? Lord, it'd take a long time for it to rust. Exactly. That's what I'm my saying. My God, my kids be dead and gone. That's what. <laughs> my God, quit. don't worry so, about that. So, there is a rough edge where, this, where the machine has cut this yeah. panel out of the, mm -hmm. the door, right? Yeah. And it could rust. Now, I have seen these panels being used for sheds yes. for 20-some years. Yeah. And hardly just anybody. Paint it, seal it, something. Almost nobody painted them. Yeah. And I didn't see them rusting. Yeah. Now they will rust if you just put them in the ground. Okay. Just mm -hmm. like steel. I can see that. But I have not seen anything rust. But like we're doing, mm -hmm. we painted the one I'm in inside outside. If you want to paint it, you it's going to take so long to start yeah. rusting. Well, for and you. too, you know, for an example, for all of those, for all you followers that's been with us for a long time, yeah. over at Inca, it took forever for them doors to rust over there at that Inca plant. It's been around 65, 70 years, you know. Yeah. Took forever. I don't know what she's talking about. But <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so mind. there you go. I'm so, so sick. It's not galvanized. <laughs> right. It's an R14, and the snow load we put a thousand pounds within a three foot square, and that's that's our hillbilly engineering. All right. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, Another question was, mm -hmm. how do you heat the house, or will it be efficient when it gets down to 20 below zero? Ah! I don't have a clue. My house ain't efficient at 20 below zero. Exactly. <laughs> Your house isn't. Listen, I'm uh, in a hotel. I was in the house. We had them here parked <laughs> last year at 15 degrees. Yeah. And I'll show you the heater that I use in my home. It's a little square <laughs> heater from Walmart. Plug it in. I've never ran it full blast in my house. We're down to 25 is the yeah. lowest we've had so far this year. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have a mild winter here. I think so. But um, with 15 was last year, never turned it on full blast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Air conditioning, same way. I've got a little bitty 5,000 BTU air conditioner. Yeah. And it runs on, I think, about five or six amps. Yeah. Actually, Lucas, who does our off-grid, was saying, you know, I got a couple solar panels on mine. Mm -hmm. And it may run my air conditioning for you oh, know, just okay, to knock the heat off in the winter time. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about doing that. For sure. I feel very confident these homes are warm, dry, longevity, low maintenance, everything. I'm super excited about it. We can't afford engineering to come out here and do a $30,000 study on this engineering. My engineering is I'm selling them for $20,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have been selling these houses the same panels for a year now, bigger homes, 10 by 20, 10 by 30s we're building. And they have been successful so far, structurally going down the road. They've been to California, they've been Texas, they've been all over the place. We're shipping them up in the Northeast right now. Well, and two, the houses are ANSI certified. They're ANSI certified. Yeah. Our ANSI certification mm -hmm. um, has taken the engineering yes. off of these homes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. All right. So there you go, everybody. Um, we're hoping to sell some in the great North up in Minnesota, Wisconsin, stuff like that. Love to hear back from people. But for $20,000, how can you go wrong? A camper, if you're thinking about even living in a camper, this is way better than a camper, hands um, down. You know, one thing is I would love uh, for, um, well, I don't, I don't know if I can say, I won't say their name, but they told me today, <clears throat> if they want their name said, they can tell us yeah. and we'll tell that. But they have been in their Airstream uh, trailer and they know who I'm talking about. They told me today. Yeah. They said they will never again ever be in that thing. They said that it, the sun came in on them over the summer. They about burnt down. Yeah, they about cooked it. They about cooked it like a stove.
know. <laughs> like an oven. <laughs> yeah, they said that's it. And them things are high dollar. Um, question I'm reading. Are these stud walls? No, the walls have no wood in them whatsoever. No wood. This is, this is your wall right here. Yeah. This panel weighs 17 pounds. Mm -hmm. Takes about 60 panels to build a house. Yeah. Figure it up. Um, Plus the trailer. Somebody else had a question about what kind of metal gets put on top of the roof. The or metal <clears throat> will be putting a galvanized metal, galvanized color, which will be silver color. Perfect. You won't see the color. No, you it don't. It is almost a flat roof. You cannot see the Do color. Do you know, the and all right, I've... Nobody will know this, yeah. but the Incredibox, when you watch that video, the roof color, metal color, is green. It's evergreen. Yeah, it is. Y'all don't see it. Nope. So if you find it anywhere that you can see it, you let us know, but you can't see the roof. Metal. All the videos we did, it is You green. can't see it. And it was leftover metal that I had, and yes. I just put it on it. Yep, so it's evergreen yeah. or yep. forest green. But it's going to be a like galvanized it. metal on yeah. that roof there. Mm -hmm. uh, insulation, this is on the walls and the roof, both this thickness. On yeah. the floor is a floor system like we build all of our other homes. It's a two by six floor system on the trailer and we polyurethane, uh, same foam as this, closed cell polyurethane spray foam on the floors. It is wired, it is plumbed, it is got panel boxes. I think it's got like eight circuits in it electrically. Mm -hmm. Full shower, full, t full uh, water heater, toilet, everything you need to live in. Yeah. Everything. Can Go. you address, now I don't know if this is for the Incredibox or all the houses or whatever, yeah. but somebody had mentioned about the metal pan. Will you address that? I was just going to do that. That was my next thing, metal pan, wood pan. Oh, good. I'm not going to go out in the warehouse. Minda's got to get home. She's not feeling really good this evening. So I wanted to show you that um, on our trailers, the way we build a trailer, let me see if I got a marker in here. Um, I don't hate saying um, but I'm trying to think. Well, so we okay. have... We have two beams, and then underneath here is the axle that comes out. Here's your wheels, right? Okay. Well, the two I beams. What we do is we take, we were taking steel. Let's see. Let's make the pan this way. That's your I beams, right? <laughs> okay. And the, Can you erase those up there, maybe? No, well, there we go. All right. Thank so you. then, I beam goes like this, and then you got an axle that mm -hmm. pops out, and there's a wheel right here. Yeah. And then there's a wheel underneath here. All right, so we take the pan, the steel, and we go across, and we run it like that. Mm -hmm. And then we, they tack weld it or we'll screw it to that, and then we put our floor joists on top of that, right? So what we started doing, because metal is hard to get by, yeah. this sheet of metal was four foot, right, across here, four foot by eight foot, went from $40 a sheet to about hundred and fifty dollars a sheet. Okay. It's too expensive. A lot of money. Years ago, I used to use nothing but pressure treated plywood. I love pressure treated plywood. Um, I was looking for an eraser on that thing. But here I'll use my jeans. So I don't have mine. so what I'm doing now yeah. instead of instead of do, using the metal is we're using Right here, this is an end view. These are the I beams that the trader's made out of. Okay. All right? And they go long, you know, they go long for the trader. Now, what I do is I take a half inch plywood mm -hmm. right here, <coughs> and it's pressure treated plywood, so it's not going to rot. It's bug resistant. There's not going to be a squirrel eat through the bottom of it. It is good, it's solid, it's perfect. I used to use it all the time, and I got back to it because I love screwing this stuff to the I-beams, and then we put our floor joists across here, right? Yeah. We can nail up through the bottom of our plywood mm -hmm. and fasten these joists to the plywood. I love it. So somebody was concerned about rodents and bugs. This is completely sealed just like the metal, except for it's wood, okay. and the wood will not rot. Okay. Okay? Yep. Good. We'll mm -hmm. take care of that. Anything else? Got that question out. You guys, you know, I, I come up with these deals because I love just working with numbers and coming out with a plan that it's exciting to think that we're building something that is so needed. It's so needed. It's fun to build. It is. We're going to make some money off of them. You're going to get a great deal. And yeah. it's, I like it because it's quick. It's yeah. smart. It's efficient. It's it's it, it fits a lot of need. Does it give you the Taj Mahal and the 
you know, the, all the washers and the dryers and all the space and all the closets and the vanities and all. No, it doesn't do that. I got into tiny homes because I needed to make a living mm -hmm. at the time. And that's the only reason I got into it. I didn't live in one. You couldn't probably couldn't even get me in one when I first started. That's it's too small. But I saw that people were listening to her. Look, she's laughing at me. <laughs> you, I'm not going to say what you said. But I've learned. I live in them now. And I've learned. It took me a time to gear down. Right? And I got into a house. I'm thinking, okay, I'm sitting on my sofa. <laughs> Good night. What do I need to walk 30 feet to the next room for? I'm just yeah. going to take two steps to the kitchen. You guys have heard me say this ever. And I've learned to really enjoy these. But the simplistic of these tiny homes is what appeals to me. The simplicity. Mm -hmm. I have investors. I have people that we're building homes right now that we've got a book that thick trying to figure out what they want in the house. Yeah. I love building homes when I have the time for me to build a home like that. That's great. But the joy that I get is being simple, out the door, quick and efficient. That's just the way I'm built. And it's just change. my interest. It's exciting to have change, not to have the same thing all the time. Yeah, I don't you know? want to do like tumbleweed. I don't mm -hmm. want to do like timber craft. I don't want to do like Liberty and, and um, what do they got? There's so many more New Freedom or New Frontier and all these great builders. They're awesome builders. But they're building the same home all the time and he wanted that high end and he wanted to go 120 to 200,000 and yeah. that's great that they can do that. But they're not going to put out 200 a home a year. Mm -hmm. There's not enough craftsmen out there. Yeah. There's not enough time to train somebody. to. It takes years to learn that skill. Yeah. You might be able to put out four or five at a time but you're not going to get to where you're, you're feeding a lot of the people and I love I don't know it's just my interest yeah I know that I needed a home at a time when I lost everything and this is better than what I would have ever ever could have imagined if I needed a home a, a place to live I plan on and we'll see my life changes but I plan on using that home for a long time this is a home that I'm going to keep and the reason it resonates with me... You better keep it. I bet uh, Jersey Mike, uh, 10 bucks, he said, you won't keep it. And yeah. I said, yeah, he will. You better keep it. Uh, I just feel good in it. When I, when I was sleeping in there last night, I looked up and I said, man, I, I just like it. It's big. It's roomy. It's cozy. I, could, I got up and went to the bathroom and went down and lay down in my bed. Mm -hmm, then cozy. I got up this morning and pulled my rope and pulled my sofa and made my bed and I was good. Mm -hmm. I fixed my breakfast and adios, you know, and I got place for my food and my clothes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with this. I just yes. want to add something to it yeah. about what if you don't have a place to put the incredible box. You want one, but you ain't got where to put it. All right. You can... We just we just contacted about 12 people today All right. that we're trying they to find... Say? We're waiting. Wait. All we're right. waiting. We've just got let them know. about 12, 14 people that own right. lots in our communities that do not have houses on them. They're and I'm trying to get them to want you all, if you want a tiny home to live here, you can sublet their lot, okay? Mm -hmm. And that would be great. So whatever they want to charge, yeah. I made a we'll mistake and said three fifty to four hundred dollars, and I'm just throwing it out there for them. They may want seven or eight hundred dollars. I don't know, but I'm going to tell you the philosophy behind this community here. Yes, the whole philosophy behind. It. We're charging two hundred dollars a month. Yeah, I know that I'm half to a third less or two thirds less than everybody. I know that I'm not stupid, all right? Mm -hmm. I know how much I am not real smart, but I know that $200 a month is a great deal. Yeah. That was the point. It's the point. There are people out here that can't afford any more than that. That's right. These people out here are on a fixed income. I knew that when they came here. Yes. You know what? They bought a house from me. That's right. And they got a lot here, mm -hmm. and they're living. Yeah. This is more than I ever thought I would ever accomplish to have in community here, all right? Yes, I know that there's we're undervalued, but you know what? They're working with me. They know that their landscaping's not done yet. They know there's some other amenities that I'm going to totally keep adding for the rest of my life probably to this place. And even then, I'm not going to say, hey, it's worth $700 a month now. No. All that. I'm not going to do no. that. There's more to everything. When, you, when I have a $200 a month payment mm -hmm. that I charge people to, for the earth to live here, yeah. all right? Their job is to take care of their lot. Yes. And they will because they're grateful to be here they because are. they're not paying seven hundred dollars a month and I'm paying fifty bucks a month to a landscaper and I'm gonna pocket another five hundred because I'm just paying for the landscaping. Right. All right. They're gonna take care of that. That's right. 
I had a water bill on here. I didn't put a meter on there. I got one meter for each community. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're reading a meter, <coughs> and whatever it is, we just divide it up. Yeah. I'm not making money on the water. No. I could charge three fifty, include the water. Yeah. And charge me cost me what twenty five dollars, and I make seventy five more right. bucks mm -hmm. per lot. I'm not doing oh, it. No. So everybody, if you got a lot here, and you want to charge whatever you want, that's totally up to you. But the spirit and the philosophy behind this place, yeah. it is a place, to me, it's a place of refuge, it's a place of home, mm -hmm. it's a community. And I know that whole feel is not here yet, because not everybody's moved in yet. No. And we're not done with our building and getting it all done. I'm, everybody, we're looking at probably the end of this year, it's going to be a spick and span beautiful place. Yes. The gates are coming down. The fences are going up. The prairie is going to be decorated. We're looking, like you've seen the video on the buffalo that we're going to put out there. There's so many cool things. And, Being, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And two, to, just to, touching on that, yeah. is that tomorrow to announce, you're going to talk about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what, at the round table? Yeah. Tomorrow's yeah. The, so, what we've accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you know, we're going to go over the, what's happened in the full year here. Yes. Where have we went from? this time last year to now yeah and what have we accomplished it's hard for me to look back i can't even remember where we were but i know That's i set true. goals to have certain things done and we've accomplished a lot of them mm -hmm. a few of them we didn't obtain I, I always set my bar a little bit too high but we've done a lot and mm -hmm. i'm probably this 2022 is probably the, the most exciting year of business that i've been yeah. in with incredible tiny homes mm -hmm. and i'm excited to bring that to you all coming the first of the year the incredibox is something that I want to be known for, that we are the company that can bring you a tiny home for in the $20,000, $20,000, Yeah. Nobody in the country is doing that. It's a place, and I always say a place to lay down. We do that in the South. I'm gonna head to the house, I'm gonna lay down, you know? It's a place that you can lay down. It's mm -hmm. a place that you can live and you can actually exist in a very comfortable manner. Yeah. We had people today buy a, an Incredibox mm -hmm. and they said they are looking forward to living in this thing oh they can't wait to get here yeah we have sold almost 20 more today yes this week so we're almost up to 40 homes that we have sold before the end of this year yes you know so and i don't want to say their name but i want to say hi to them i talked to them yeah. on the phone today um they said they're 49 years old they are retired they cannot wait to get here they're so excited yeah um, they're going to be going to the mountain and i won't say who they are or anything but I want to say hi to you. It was so nice to talk to both of them, especially her. She was she was so excited Beautiful. and just can't wait to get here and can't wait to grow with it and uh, come and mingle into the community. And they said, hey, we see it. We see wh what's happening. We see where everything's going and said, we cannot wait to get there. Nice. So we're. it was very nice to talk to if you. Got a, if you got a mountain lot for 15000 yeah. You know, we didn't put a size home on there. Yeah. You know, the first 20 we did. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we opened it up. So the first 20, they've got their special deal there. And that was an amazing deal that they got. Yeah. You could put an Incredibox on a mountain lot, right? So you're looking at, what, $35,000? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. A lot and a house. Yeah. Well, if there's more lots that open up. There's no more right now. Yeah, right. You know, exactly. but I'm just saying. But mm -hmm. um, I wish I had more land. I wish I had I could develop more. And we'll get into that later. But we're going to finish what we got. We're going to get mm -hmm. that mountain done. We're going to get these people their homes. We're going to fulfill you're, our, all and you're our... you're hoping that the mountain will be done by the end of next year. I'm hoping one year. Very exciting. Yeah, one year. Ooh. Oh, I'd love to have it done next month. Because oh the quicker God. it's done, yes. the sooner we start making money. That's and right. we got to get going on all that. Mm -hmm. So, But it's winter. But anyway, I want to get into that. So answer your questions about the Incredibox. There's the panels. This is what it's made of. It's 22 inch, 22 gauge steel. It is metal. It's not galvanized. It is insulated. It's, I can't guarantee 20 below zero for four months. No. Straight in, out every single day of your life. I don't know. I'd say buy it. Let me know. You know what? And report back to us. You know, I'd love to know what it does. I can just say at about 15 degrees um, outside Fahrenheit just for the night. It wasn't day in, day out, day in, day out. If you don't feel comfortable with it, don't buy it. That's all I can say. You know, um, it is way better than a camper, and people live in campers and mobile homes yes. in that kind of cold. Yes, they do. You know, I could stretch the truth, and I could say to you all and pump this thing up and say, I know it's going to keep you warm, da da da. And I, I'm, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this home would heat well in that environment. Sure. Okay. 
you may have to add another heater to it, but you're going to be warm in there. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, and I just said it, but I don't want to go there and promise anything. Right. I can't say it because I haven't done it. I'm hoping by this time next year, if some people have taken the chance to buy one of these mm -hmm. in West, northern Wisconsin, or if you're up in Minnesota, I would love to hear back and say, hey, how well did it do or how, how it didn't do well. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. And we'll go from there. So, all right, everybody. One more thing. <coughs> Let's take a walk out my house. All okay. Right. I'm going to show you a little bit about how this looks and come on buddy and I know we were in here the other night and I don't know if you guys can see it's dark out he's ready to go bad I know it look at him So again, here's my house. This is the one I live in. And so when you come in the door, right here, man, to show me on the video, when you walk in the door, there's no ceiling fan in here, all right? So I come in the door and I hit this switch. Mm -hmm. That plug right there is hot just to the switch. So I've got me a lamp. If you don't have a stand-up lamp, put a little table there with a lamp. I don't like overhead lights anyway. Now the fan, we may need one, and what I'm gonna do on all the models, we're putting a plug up high, either up on the shelf or up on that loft over there. Okay. And I'm gonna put a plug up there so you can put a ceiling, I mean a, a, a fan mm -hmm. that will blow. You can plug it in right there and that fan will blow all the air around in the summer and in the winter if you choose to have a fan. Okay. Okay. Now you can put one on the floor too. I like to have it up here because it's out of the way. And you just turn it on low and it'll move the air around for you. So I wanted to show you, <clears throat> remember in the video, before all this is just painted, these are still the screws, these are still the seams. I'm not hiding anything from you all. Two cabinets, a 24 inch drawer base, a 30 inch sink base. You'll get this right here. You will get this, you'll get the countertop, which is a um, butcher block countertop. You get a gooseneck faucet. The windows are 2030. And, and those are blinds. We just bought those at Lowe's. Got you them at Lowe's. Got them at Lowe's. And we face screwed them right on the front. Yeah, just screwed them in. Uh, the windows on the video, they had a black, this is a black piece of metal that we went around and that's yeah, how I seal them up really good. I just painted it. I just painted it. That's all we did. How many coats? Two? Two. Two coats. Two metal coats paint. paint. Yeah, there was something else I was going to pull. Oh, okay. when we stood on the roof today, we stood right here. Okay. There is no, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was thinking this, this bathroom wall went straight up mm -hmm. and it didn't and it so it, it doesn't support anything so this spanning eight feet by 16 foot long and there was a thousand pounds right here yeah would you stand five men on a camper no oh, no uh-uh, no way. I just, as far as I, I Not mean, be in it, my I folks have had campers. I know you've I love campers. There's yeah. a place for them. I do. I really, really like RVs. There's a place for it, yeah. But I wouldn't put five grown men standing real close to each other on top of a camper yeah. camper roof. So just real quick while we're in here, because I know you have different cabinetry yes. that was put in here. So uh, the house that you received for 20000 you will not get a, ga a tankless gas. What, where will the... Yeah. Um, electric water heater be? I'm going to put the electric water heater. It was under here. The electric water heater is going to be above in this loft. Okay. And I'm going to come down. I've got to come down. The ceiling's got to come down about six inches okay. right here. Let me turn this light on. Okay. So it's going to come down right here, mm -hmm. about 19 inches out, come down, set okay. it. And that water heater is going to sit right up there. Okay. It's not going to be in the way. There's no headroom. That's you can't great. stand here with the toilet. Yeah. So we come down a little bit. It's a little bit more funky for us to build, but it's going to give you a ton of room where normally the water heater was right here. Right. You put your refrigerator right here. Now, the refrigerator can be right here, or you can build a cabinet and put your refrigerator on top of the cabinet. Yeah, So that's mine, what I would do. Mine is under here. I don't mind scrouching down. A lot of people want to be up high here, have your refrigerator, have sure. a cabinet above and below it. Uh -huh. However you want to do it. But I built this, or had Rob build it for me, and um, got some shelves under it. Exactly, and Ikea and Amazon and all kinds of, like, they have so many nice cabinets and things like that. Yeah. You can have I haven't even too. started maximizing the space in here, as you guys can see. I went and bought some totes. I bought these totes for you all to see that I've got, you know, my jeans, my shirts, my socks, t-shirts, boxers, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You can just pull these things down. Um, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but you can grab this thing and you can see you can readily get to what you need. 
and pull it out. One, right? two, where you like to, you don't have anything on your Nothing tape. on you my just, countertop. Yep, you can so, you know, I haven't pulled out my jeans and or clothes yet and put them in here. So this yeah. is where most of it. What I've been doing lately is I just take my blanket, my pillow from sure. my bed because I want it to look like a sofa during the day. And where's the lights in here? Oh, the vanity light up there. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take this and put it back. So that's just one way of, of living in a tiny home. Here's there we your go. light for your kitchen. Uh -huh. Yep. So, all right, everybody. And thank an you. unbelievable rental if you don't live in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, the one thing I wanted to point out, I'm glad mm -hmm. you said that. Yeah. If you can get right here, Amanda. Yes. Let me point this out. If you guys will go to a Instagram, maybe a website, I've seen it on Instagram, and it's a company called Getaway. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's an Airbnb company. You may have heard a lot about them. They're all over the country and they're big about being offline. You go to the standard Airbnb and there's no Wi-Fi, there's no TV, there's no cell phone service, there's nothing. It's, it's time to get cut loose and just enjoy being alone, right? Or not being um, bothered by the world. Their design is really similar to this. And I haven't, I haven't seen a floor plan, but just seen a video of it. They come in the side, kitchen, bathroom, bed. This is it. Now they make it, it looks like it's probably about 20, maybe 24 foot long. So if you did four more feet, their bed is just like this, spread out, done. It doesn't move into a sofa, but on this end wall, all it is is one picture window. That's it. So after we build these homes, we get them out, we may, we may put out an investor Airbnb home and it may have some different amenities. So we'll say, hey, this is an investor style home. We can pump out 40 of these things in X amount of days and we'll put them out there. The only difference is just this big picture window. You're laying in bed and you look out that big old picture window that's out in the woods or on a lake or in a mountain or some kind of sitting that makes it an Airbnb. We have investors that do not, can't wrap their mind around this home being an Airbnb. People that want to stay in a tiny home, this is what they want to stay in. They don't want a park model that's 12 foot wide, 40 foot long, three bedrooms, two bath, and it feels like a house. You might as well just went to a home. This is a tiny home. It's made to be quirky. I take this TV here. I know it seems weird. I'm going to take it here and we're going to sit on this. We got a little wood stove. I'm just saying theoretically, this is what you want in a tiny home. You can cook, you can clean, you can get ready for bed, and I'm still here hanging out. I haven't been, I have not intruded with Amanda if she wanted to cook or she wanted to sit here and I wanted to cook. It's enough room for both of us, you know, or two people, plenty of room for just me. Another question uh, that I remember seeing is that, what about the vinyl flooring? Somebody vinyl said, flooring you, comes with the house. I know, but what type? Because they were asking, do you get different styles, different colors. We're going to have one color. Okay. We have to for, for the assembly line. Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda picked this out. I'm not going to say nothing. You ain't going to say nothing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't want to say? I ain't going to say. I ain't going to say. Yeah. So I don't know what color we're going to put in the floor. <laughs> but it's not going to be this color. Builder's choice. No, I like it. I like this I like this color too. It could be either or, but it's going to have a vinyl floor. Vinyl floor. You get the Butcher cabinets. block. Yep. The white cabinets. Gooseneck sink I mean faucet single bowl sink mm -hmm. regular toilet if you want it somebody said hey can I put a compost sure you can you can take that toilet out and put a compost right there mm -hmm. all right everybody have a great night I'm Randy Jones with incredible tiny homes sitting in the new incredible box that'll be on an assembly line come February 21st putting out for production the first 25 guaranteed home will be delivered to you or ready for pickup right mm -hmm. within 90, 90 days. days. We hope that that is just a long figure, but I'm allowing myself some room. 90 days, first 25, we're hoping we can maximize that in a third of that time, but we're not going to go out there. We haven't put this in production, but I think guaranteed 90 days, first 25 is pretty darn good. All right. So anyway, go to our website, check it out, incrediblecountyhomes.com. Go to our YouTube, what you're watching right now. Remember, if you subscribe to this or if you give us a thumbs up, uh, no, subscribe, and um, you enter in a, a, a giveaway. Free, free giveaway house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give away a house. We're actually building a house right now. We've got all the, the components putting it together. So we are going to give a house away to one of you all who subscribe to this channel. When we hit 100,000 100, subscribers, we're at 94.1. Yep. So 
There's Ace. There's Ace. He's ready for bed. When he gets dark, he's ready to lay down. Yeah, he's, he's ready to lay down. Aw. Everybody have a great night. Thank you for tuning in. I really do mean it. And thanks for the people who have purchased this tiny home and many of our other tiny homes and waiting on us. We got some of the greatest customers in the world that care about us. We and, do. And, um, hey, we're just, we're just like you. We're out here just trying to make a living. Yeah. And somebody said that we're closed to the public. And we're not like closed to the public like hey we can, you can't come here the thing is we're not set up for a sales staff mm -hmm. we're not set up for you all to come here we don't have the staff to walk you around I don't have time to walk you around mm -hmm. right if there's a way of uh, if somebody wants to hey I'm not gonna buy this house until I put my feet in it and I want to see it we're gonna we're gonna accommodate you we're gonna somehow work something out with you okay and I don't know how we're gonna, we're just busy. And we're a wholesale company. We're not a retail where we have a showroom for you. So we are not close to the public saying, hey, we don't want anybody here. I love people. I wish people could come here. I physically don't have time just to walk you around, all right? That's why we put all these videos out every single day. That's why I go laboriously repeating over and over and over and showing you, this is my home. This is how it's built. This is how it's wired. This is how it's plumbed. This is what it feels like. Oh, and this is the heater. This is the heater I used uh, at 15 degrees, 25 degrees, and I've Just never... Just from Walmart. I've never used it full blast. Yeah. Mm -mm. I've Don't always had to, to turn it down yeah. in the middle of the night. So, all right. I've done enough talking. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Round, round table, table show. We'll be at the round table show tomorrow. Um, I don't know if we'll go live or not because of the, the video looking kind of scratchy, but we will have a round table tomorrow. I think you're going to get to meet a lot of the guys that work here. You're going to meet their personalities and see them talking, and I, we got a lot of great guys. So if you really like who we are and what we've been doing and you want to just hang out with us, we'll be here tomorrow and then also Friday. We'll have an, our New Year's Eve party. Uh, it's really just a we blow up a Christmas tree. And I think we got three trees this year. We'll be decorating with fireworks, blowing them up. We'll be coming live for that for sure. We got a lot of people in the community here are going to be having parties and coming around walking and helping decorating the trees. So it's, we want to bring you all that and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing our shenanigans that we do on New Year's Eve. All right? Y'all have a great night. Appreciate you watching. And um, we'll be talking to you.